A legume is a plant in the family Fabaceae or leguminosae, or the fruit or seed of such a plant also called a pulse, especially in the mature, dry condition. Legumes are grown agriculturally, primarily for human consumption, for livestock forage and silage, and as soil-enhancing green manure. Well-known legumes include alfalfa, clover, beans, peas, chickpeas, lentils, lupins, mesquite, carob, soybeans, peanuts, and tamarind. Legumes produce a botanically unique type of fruit, a simple dry fruit that develops from a simple carpal and usually dehisces opens along a seam on two sides. A common name for this type of fruit is a pod, although the term pod is also applied to a number of other fruit types, such as that of vanilla a capsule, and of the radish a siliqui. Legumes are notable in that most of them have symbiotic nitrogen-fixing bacteria in structures called root nodules. For that reason, they play a key role in crop rotation. Terminology <inaudible> 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 The term pulse, as used by the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization FAO, is reserved for legume crops harvested solely for the dry seed. This excludes green beans and green peas, which are considered vegetable crops. Also excluded are seeds that are mainly grown for oil extraction oil seeds like soybeans and peanuts, and seeds which are used exclusively for sowing forage clovers, alfalfa. However, in common usage, these distinctions are not always clearly made, and many of the varieties used for dried pulses are also used for green vegetables, with their beans in pods while young. Some Fabaceae, such as Scotch broom and other Genistaei, are leguminous but are usually not called legumes by farmers, who tend to restrict that term to food crops. Topic. Uses Farmed legumes can belong to many agricultural classes, including forage, grain, blooms, pharmaceutical, industrial, fallow, green manure, and timber species. Most commercially farmed species fill two or more roles simultaneously, depending upon their degree of maturity when harvested. Topic. Human consumption Grain legumes are cultivated for their seeds, which are used for human and animal consumption or for the production of oils for industrial uses. Grain legumes include beans, lentils, lupins, peas, and peanuts. Topic. Nutritional value Legumes are a significant source of protein, dietary fiber, carbohydrates and dietary minerals, for example, a 100-gram serving of cooked chickpeas contains 18% of the daily value DV for protein, 30% DV for dietary fiber, 43% DV for folate and 52% DV for manganese. Like other plant based foods, pulses contain no cholesterol and little fat or sodium. Legumes are also an excellent source of resistant starch, which is broken down by bacteria in the large intestine to produce short chain fatty acids, such as butyrate, used by intestinal cells for food energy. Preliminary studies in humans include the potential for regular consumption of legumes in a plant based diet to reduce the prevalence or risk of developing metabolic syndrome. There is evidence that a portion of pulses roughly one cup daily in a diet may help lower blood pressure and reduce LDL cholesterol levels, though there is a concern about the quality of the supporting data. Topic. Classification of pulses FAO recognizes 11 primary pulses. The FAO notes that the term, pulses, is limited to legumes harvested solely for dry grain, thereby excluding legumes that are harvested green for food green peas, green beans, etc., which are classified as vegetable crops. 
Also excluded are those legumes used mainly for oil extraction, e.g., soybeans and groundnuts, or used exclusively for sowing purposes, e.g., seeds of clover and alfalfa. Dry beans FAOSTAT code 0176, Phaseolus spp, including several species now in Vigna. Kidney bean, navy bean, pinto bean, black turtle bean, harico bean, Phaseolus vulgaris. Lima bean, butter bean, Phaseolus lunatus. Azuki bean, azuki bean, Vigna angularis. Mung bean, golden gram, green gram, Vigna radiata. Black gram, Urad, Vigna mungo. Scarlet runner bean, Phaseolus coccineus. Rice bean, Vigna umbellata. Moth bean, Vigna aconitifolia. Tepary bean, Phaseolus acutifolius. Dry broad beans, Code 0181, Vicia faba. Horse bean, Vicia faba equina. Broad bean, Vicia faba. Field bean, Vicia faba. Dry peas, Code 0187, Pisum spp. Garden pea, Pisum sativum var, sativum. Protein pea, Pisum sativum var, arvense. Chickpea, Garbanzo, Bengal Gram, Code 0191, Cicer arietinum. Dry cowpea, Black eyed pea, Black eye bean, Code 0195, Vigna inguiculata. Pigeon pea, Arhar, Tor, Cajun pea, Congo bean, Gandules, Code 0197, Cajanus cajun. Lentil, Code 0201, Lens culinaris. Bombara groundnut, earth pea, code 0203, Vigna subterranea. Vetch, common vetch, code 0205, Vicia sativa. Lupins, code 0210, Lupinus spp. Pulses NES, code 0211, minor pulses, including Lablab, hyacinth bean, Lablab purpureus. Jack bean, Canavalia ensiformis, sword bean, Canavalia gladiata. Winged bean, Sophocarpus tetragonalibus. Velvet bean, Cowich, Macuna periens var. Utilis. Yam bean, Pacorhizus erosus. Topic: Forage. Forage legumes are of two broad types. Some, like alfalfa, clover, vetch vicia, stylo stylosanths, or arachis, are sown in pasture and grazed by livestock. Other forage legumes such as leucina or albizia are woody shrub or tree species that are either broken down by livestock or regularly cut by humans to provide livestock feed. Legumes base feed fed to animals improves animal performance compared to diets of perennial grass diet. Factors that attribute towards such result, larger consumption, quicker rate of digestion and feed conversion rate efficiency. Other uses Legume species grown for their flowers include lupins, which are farmed commercially for their blooms as well as being popular in gardens worldwide. Industrially farmed legumes include indigofera and acacia species, which are cultivated for dye and natural gum production, respectively. Fallow, green manure legume species are cultivated to be tilled back into the soil in order to exploit the high levels of captured atmospheric nitrogen found in the roots of most legumes. Numerous legumes farmed for this purpose include leucina, cyamopsis, and cisbania species. Various legume species are farmed for timber production worldwide, including numerous acacia species and Castanospermum astrali. Legume trees like the locust trees Gladitsia, Robinia, or the Kentucky coffee tree Gymnoclatus dioicus, can be used in permaculture food forests. Other legume trees like laburnum and the woody climbing vine wisteria are poisonous. Topic. Nitrogen fixation 
Many legumes contain symbiotic bacteria called rhizobia within root nodules of their root systems. Plants belonging to the genus Stiphnolobium are one exception to this rule. These bacteria have the special ability of fixing nitrogen from atmospheric, molecular nitrogen N2 into ammonia NH3. The chemical reaction is N2 plus 8H plus plus 8E minus 2NH3 plus H2 ammonia is then converted to another form, ammonium NH plus 4, usable by some plants by the following reaction. NH3 plus H plus NH plus 4 This arrangement means that the root nodules are sources of nitrogen for legumes, making them relatively rich in plant proteins. All proteins contain nitrogenous amino acids. Nitrogen is therefore a necessary ingredient in the production of proteins. Hence, legumes are among the best sources of plant protein. When a legume plant dies in the field, for example following the harvest, all of its remaining nitrogen, incorporated into amino acids inside the remaining plant parts, is released back into the soil. In the soil, the amino acids are converted to nitrate no -3, making the nitrogen available to other plants, thereby serving as fertilizer for future crops. In many traditional and organic farming practices, crop rotation involving legumes is common. By alternating between legumes and non-legumes, sometimes planting non-legumes two times in a row and then a legume, the field usually receives a sufficient amount of nitrogenous compounds to produce a good result, even when the crop is non-leguminous. Legumes are sometimes referred to as green manure. Sri Lanka developed the farming practice known as coconut soybean intercropping. Grain legumes are grown in coconut Cocos nufisera groves in two ways, intercropping or as a cash crop. These are grown mainly for their protein, vegetable oil and ability to uphold soil fertility. However, continuous cropping after three to four years decrease grain yields significantly. Topic. Farming system. The type of crops grown or animal rearing will be dependent on the farming system, either vegetables, tubers, grains, cattle etc. In cattle rearing, legume trees such as Gliracidia sepium can be planted along edges of field to provide shade for cattle, the leaves and bark are often eaten by cattle. Green manure can also be grown between periods when crops of economic importance are harvested prior to the next crops to be planted. History Archaeologists have discovered traces of pulse production around Ravi River Punjab, the seat of the Indus Valley Civilization, dating to c. 3300 BCE. Meanwhile, evidence of lentil cultivation has also been found in Egyptian pyramids and cuneiform recipes. Dry pea seeds have been discovered in a Swiss village that are believed to date back to the Stone Age. Archaeological evidence suggests that these peas must have been grown in the eastern Mediterranean and Mesopotamian regions at least 5,000 years ago and in Britain as early as the 11th century. But one particular bean has become the leading legume planted worldwide, the soybean. It was first domesticated around 11,000 BC in China, a descendant of the wild vine Glycine soja. Domesticated soybean was introduced to the USA Philadelphia by Benjamin Franklin from France in 1804. Henry Ford, a vegetarian, was the first person to use soybeans for large-scale industrial purposes. Concentrating on his company, from 1932 to 1933 he invested over $1 million in research on soybeans. Prior to World War II, 40% of cooking oil was imported into the U.S. When the war came, supply routes were disrupted, which encouraged the soybean culture in the U.S. Due to the years of research done by Henry Ford, the domestic soybean oil industry was born. 
Between 1970 and 1976, soybean production increased approximately 30%. Oil yield from bulk soybeans averages about 18%. Its modern-day usage ranges from margarine, salad oils, shortening and the previously mentioned cooking oil. Distribution and production Legumes are widely distributed as the third largest land plant family in terms of number of species, behind only the Orchidaceae and Asteraceae, with about 751 genera and some 19,000 known species, constituting about 7% of flowering plant species. In 2017, India was the largest producer of pulses with 23% of the world total. Table. Other major producers were Poland, the United Kingdom, and Mozambique. Topic: <inaudible> Storage of grain legumes. Seed viability decreases with longer storage time. Studies done on vetch, horse beans, and peas show that they last about 5 years in storage. Environmental factors that are important in influencing germination are relative humidity and temperature. Two rules apply to moisture content between 5 and 14 percent. The life of the seed will last longer if the storage temperature is reduced by 5 degrees Celsius. Secondly, the storage moisture content will decrease if temperature is reduced by 1 degree Celsius. Topic. Pests of legumes A common pest of grain legumes that is noticed in the tropical and subtropical Asia, Africa, Australia and Oceania are minuscule flies that belong to the family Agromyzidae, dubbed bean flies. They are considered to be the most destructive. The host range of these flies is very wide amongst cultivated legumes. Infestation of plants starts from germination through to harvest, and they can destroy an entire crop in early stage. Black bean aphids are a serious pest to broad beans and other beans. Common host for this pest are fawthen, thistle and dock. Pea and bean weevil, damages by these two culprits are characterized by leaf margins having semicircular notches. Stem nematode, there are many different nematodes, they are very widespread but will be found more frequently in areas where host plants are grown. Topic. Common diseases of legumes Anthracnose, caused by Caletotrichum trifoli, common leaf spot caused by Pseudomonas syringi pv, syringi, crown wart caused by Physoderma alfalfa, downy mildew caused by Peronospora trifoliorum, Fusarium root rot caused by Fusarium spp, rust caused by Euromyces striatus, Sclerotina crown and stem rot caused by Sclerotinia trifoliorum, Southern blight caused by Sclerotium rolfsi, Pythium root rot, Browning root rot caused by Pythium spp, Fusarium wilt caused by Fusarium oxysporum, root knot, agent Meloidogyne hapla. These are all classified as biotic problems, abiotic problems, nutrient deficiency i.e. nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, copper, magnesium, manganese, boron, zinc, pollutants air, water, soil, pesticide injury, fertilizer burn, toxic concentration of minerals, and unfavorable growth conditions. Topic. Principles applied to control diseases in plants There are three main factors that contribute to the success of any plant disease, it must have a host susceptible plants, the right environment, and a pathogen. With any one of the three factors being eliminated there will be no disease, to help achieve this, different approaches can be taken to mitigate its severity before it's too late. Control – Diseases in plants should be kept below severity line at which it may be of economical importance, one can reduce the inoculum or slow the rate of its increase in plants. 
There are some principles that are etiological to control plant diseases, exclusion, eradication, therapy and resistant variety. Topic: <laughs> Pollination of legumes. Legumes can either be self-pollinated or cross-pollinated. Pollination serves the purpose for the continuation of the species and its genetic materials to its offspring. Self-pollination limits the capability for genetic variation, whereas for cross-pollination the opposite is true. Some tropical legumes that are closely self-pollinated are, Macroptilium atropurpureum Ceratro, Macroptilum lathyroides, Centrosema pubescens, Neonotonia whitei, and Lotononis bainsi. However, the autogamous annual stylosense humilis proved otherwise by adapting in response to changing conditions during an experiment, and was found to be composed of several genotypes showing heterogeneity. Two legumes used for pasture with cross-pollination are, Desmodium intatum and Desmodium uncinatum. When the flower is opened, this is the only time fertilization will take place. These two species' characteristics vary in morphology and ruggedness. <laughs> International Year of Pulses The International Year of Pulses 2016, IYP 2016 was declared by the 68th session of the United Nations General Assembly. The Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations was nominated to facilitate the implementation of IYP 2016 in collaboration with governments, relevant organizations, non-governmental organizations and other relevant stakeholders. Its aim was to heighten public awareness of the nutritional benefits of pulses as part of sustainable food production aimed towards food security and nutrition. IYP 2016 created an opportunity to encourage connections throughout the food chain that would better use pulse-based proteins, further global production of pulses, better use crop rotations and address challenges in the global trade of pulses. Topic. See also List of dried foods List of legume dishes Peanut allergy